Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about this card. Um, this card, a lot of people are boo-hoo-hooing, and I don't know, I like it. Uh, I know it is a investment, but when you're in these colors, you can afford that investment. And when I mean that, I, I mean you are probably a control S card, or you're a Whip of Erebos, or you're a Rhino deck, or whatever you're trying to do. You're not trying to win the game extremely fast, and this is the perfect card to do it. Now, what you have to notice about this particular card is it has lifelink and trample for its second ability, but it doesn't become bigger. I feel like that was a mistake. If it became a little bit bigger, I would definitely say play this card in every single deck, but he becomes he's weak. Um, obviously, when he becomes an 8-8 eight, eight, lifelink double, you know, lifelink like lifelink trample creature that's a very strong card on turn six and then he's attacking you because he has he's been in play all of this time but that being said i don't like the second stage of his growth if you will um, it is a card that to me has to be played very early on i know a lot of you will say oh, okay if you just have you play him late game you can just build him up but he's not really that good late game. So essentially, if you pay seven, he is a, what is he? A free, 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 first strike, no, not first strike, trample and life link. So that's not really worth seven mana when you can have a dragon. And then if you pay six more, he becomes the eight, eight. But again, you wasted two turns way late in the game, pretty much not doing anything relevant. So I see its price dropping. I see it becoming a bulk mythic. That being said, it's an interesting card. Whenever you have a card with abilities, activated abilities, where you can do something in response, you can keep your mana open for either that hero's downfall, or and then if they don't play it, hey, you know I'm gonna make him bigger. That's why he's good. Um, he's not good because of the actual statistics. He's good because you can do them in response so you don't waste a turn. So he's good in a control deck. But I don't see him... I mean, I see him eventually being a bulk mythic. Uh, and primarily because I feel like his second ability, I really, I'm very concerned that it's not actually efficient um, to get him from... I, I like his first ability. I like he becomes a free-free body on turn two that can attack. But his last ability, his second ability, I like his last ability too. Second ability, I, I, that's the one that kind of tells me to stay away from him. 